Yours truly, Shay Rosa, killing the game. We're definitely going to get to know her more. We're going to talk to her more, get some insight. I'm telling you, she is the S-H-I-T. Yeah, I said it, the shit. Real talk. We in the building. Dime Magazine with yours truly. How are you doing? Oh, thank you for having me, Lenny. Listen, thank you for having me, Dime Magazine. Everybody out there, um, podcast world, Facebook world, everywhere on the socials. Everywhere on the world, I wanted to say what's up to you, and thank you for having me. I like I can't even express like how happy I am, you know, to have Shay in the building. You know what I'm saying? Like Shay Rosa, she is killing the game, you know. And I just want to give you your flowers because honestly, there's not a lot of people doing what you do. Well, they're doing what you do, but they ain't doing it how you do it. You got a lot of people singing rapping doing whatever they do but not like you like we got to talk about that you know but what i want to do first though is uh, you know i kind of want to get into your humble beginnings you know is that okay that's fine now that's what's up yeah you know um okay so you know my first question to you is is uh what made you want to get into music you know of all things because you could have been a construction worker you could have been you know <laughs> a hairstylist she's very fashionable you know what i mean like but why music you know what made you want to get into music uh, okay, music for me. I ever since I can remember from being a child, I started singing from the age of four. So opening my mouth, hearing the sound of music was something that always just gravitated, I gravitated towards. And I can just remember I wrote my first song when I was four. And I You can remember that far ago? I can remember that far back. Uh, my mother carried around my song, my first song in her wallet, uh, up until right the day she passed away. And uh My condolences. Know. Yeah. Thank you. So for me, music is everything. Music yeah. is life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you said it. You said it because you know, when you talk in life like let's be honest, music honestly is like the gateway to our feelings you know whether you're happy whatever it is you're going through like a breakup or someone that you love you know what i'm saying like it helps you to study it helps you to you know get ready to play sports it gets you in the mood it gets you relaxed like you know how are you able to you know especially at four years old being able to understand that in some way form of fine or right form of fashion write it down to where grown-ups and you know are listening to it and like yo like she's only four years old she's killing it i i i think i like just connected so much with like music and the feelings and the emotions um as a child i went through a lot of transitions and so for me like I said, I gravitated and just connected with the music so deeply that that's always been my go-to place, my, um, as I should say, my remedy. See, I like that. I like that because, you know, a lot of people don't see it as remedies. You know what I mean? Like a cure for something, you know, emotionally, you know, physically, all that great stuff, you know. And it's crazy because when I listen to your music, right, and I'm being serious like all jokes aside like I see almost a reminiscent of Lauren Hill you get what I'm saying like that's how and that that's real talk that's real talk and I say that to all the viewers and listeners out there like her music is phenomenal for all y'all who do know her music and all y'all who don't need to know her music her music is fire like we're, we're gonna get into all of that you're like her new music she got coming out woo <laughs> Let's talk about it. We got to get to that. We got to get to that. You know, so, you know, um, just understanding that now, you know, you're four years old, you're finding your niche. This is what you want to do. Like, what made you actually want to stick to it and say, you know what? I'm going to stick to this music. Okay, so being a child and my mother seeing that this was something I loved, she really put her foot down. Mm and she delve into it with me yeah. Yeah. and that's something i will say to anybody that sees a passion in someone as a child yeah yeah, yeah. take that passion and run with your child mm -hmm. get into it with them and really put that dedication and in, into it with them yeah. and my mother did that with me 
and she took me to all those auditions and she took me to all of those those um those competitions in the church and she took me around to these you know choruses and all of these things that I learned so you had training you had training yes, yes I have I've ooh if we don't get into that <laughs> <laughs> yo listen man I, I mean what else better way you know I mean because you got a lot of people that's never had training you know I'm, I'm guessing through the course of them singing so much throughout or you know rapping or whatever throughout the course yeah. right <laughs> you, but you had you had the like from the you had the training and you're talking church like come on yeah. choir, choir and, and then you're talking about auditions <laughs> yes it, it literally turned in from church where my church family saw natural talent right, right. and then they wanted to progress me because they were like they put me on a stool I was four years old and I could I was a peanut I'm still a peanut you know I'm only five one. so they put me on a little stool and they put me in front of the church and I would sing and I and the choir the choir would join me and I grew up in the church and I grew up singing and then from there they would put me into different like church things that I would do and I would go around to different churches and I would sing with my church choir and from there I got into um, the new school of music which which I had to actually it was a scholarship program that I I did which was the Henrietta uh, um, uh, scholarship which is Robin Thicke's mother wow um, wow. So she headed that whole she, thing? That was her scholarship. Robin oh, Thicke's wow. mother had a scholarship out of Cambridge. Man, shout out to Robin, Robin Thicke, man. And, and your mom, Thank man. You mama. <laughs> Thank you so much for sponsoring me for five years mm -hmm. through your scholarship mm -hmm. out of the New School of Music in Cambridge. And I and I won that scholarship through, oh, through and she sponsored me. And that's how I got training. So Robin Thicke, they, like, they did a lot of, the, the family, they did a lot of work in Massachusetts? Uh, I think through Berkeley, because I, my team, teacher Carolyn Ritt um, through Berkeley School of Music I had actually done this summer oh, you went to Berkeley yeah I did, I did see see yo see now I'm I gotta I, see damn like you went to Berkeley I went to Boston Conservatory of Music I went to <laughs> for a summer program I did I did Berkeley summer program I did Boston Conservatory summer program I did new school of music for five years I'm um, training from some great teachers, Henrietta Robinson, who did the um, Channel Two and Forty Four Jazz program, was my was my vocal. I, re I, re I remember uh, that that's the PBS, right? Yeah. I remember they used to come on Channel Two. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I watched it too. I, I ain't gonna lie. You guys know you watched yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so she used to do the Jazz Hour. You yeah. know that beautiful, like deep voice that mm -hmm. used to come across. She had like a baritone. Yeah, that was baritone. Yeah. She she passed away a couple of years back. Uh, yo, God bless her, man. God bless so her. She was one of my teachers, and she taught me a lot. And Carolyn Ritt, um, and she was my also one of my teachers, and she also went to my church, and that's how I got the connection, as well as Deborah Brown, who was one of the teachers that rented Latin. Um, she was my piano teacher growing up, so I've learned, you know, and it's just I've had a, a laundry list of great teachers in my life. My mother was a school teacher in the Cambridge school teacher uh, system for 35 years, so she's taught numerous kids out here in Cambridge. She was all over there. Yeah, all over you kids out here. I, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know who you are. Uh, <laughs> you want to call out a few? You want to shout out a few of your professors and friends? Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, they know who they are. I don't, yeah. you know, like, through life, they know who they are. They know who, who I've come across. Um, and I'm blessed by everybody that I've just met in my life and that has has touched my life um, throughout time. Um, it's been an experience. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I'm blessed by it all. Um, yeah. So music is just taking me down a road. So, so we're progressing, and we say, if I say that from four, throughout that I was on. Um, do you remember that community network? Which one? Community auditions that used to come on in Boston. Okay, I don't remember that. <laughs> okay, do you remember Channel Four? Liz Walker. I remember Liz Walker. Oh, you're talking about no, 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 that, no, not Teen, not Teen Summit, Teen yes. Summit. Do you remember they had that? You you had to send the votes in. Yes, I, I do. Not. Are you serious? Yeah, I won second place. Wait, you? Yeah. Oh my God. Yo, see, so, now, it's, it's all adding up, y'all. It's all adding up. Y'all better be paying attention, man. These are things throughout my life where I say, like, you know, with the music. So, AXO. Do you know what the AXO program is over at Madison? I heard about it, but I Madison never... Agricultural <laughs> Technological Scientific Olympics. Okay, so that's an acronym. Now, I don't know, because I didn't go to Madison. Madison was like, you know... <laughs> I 
I didn't go to I didn't go to Madison, but I but I but I auditioned and I won for the Greater Boss for the NAACP. So that's how you ended up this over is how there. I ended up being a part of the AXO competition. Are they still like and around? I still do this through NAACP because I was a part of the NAACP as a youth. And shout out the AXO program, AXO y'all. Program, you guys did a lot in my life. The NAACP. Shout out to you guys. I ended up meeting Rosa Parks as a youth, as a young lady. I was nine years old. I met you. I met Rosa Parks, and it was amazing. Oh, An amazing. Man experience this woman reached out and touched my hand I told you a lot of people can't come up here <laughs> big business <laughs> I wish I would I wish I would have met Rosa Parks Rosa reached out and wrote look coming from Shea Rosa oh my God. Rosa reached out and touched my hand and spoke to me and told me mm. you're a beautiful young lady mm. continue on your life and look what I have done Miss Rosa oh my God. <laughs> okay so I'm blessed by everybody that I have met in my life all right y'all listen so i hope y'all are picking up what she's putting down because a lot of people can't say that they met well they can kind of because she was a public figure however for her to give you inspiration you know what i'm saying and to lay that on you as a child she saw it says to me that she saw something in you you get what i mean like how does that make you feel I know how it makes me feel just hearing it. I'm like, damn. It makes me feel blessed. Um, and it makes me feel that I am, I'm doing what my mother and so many others have seen in me. Yes. And through all the struggles and things that I've overcome, I still am able to um, continue yeah. on that road. Yeah. Um, and, and that nothing can stop me. And that look at God, though. And that's what I continue to to go back to, is that all of us may go through struggles, no matter what they are. There are people out here who have gone through things that you can reach out to that ha that can hear you. They can help you, even with their words. It doesn't have to be a monetary thing. It doesn't have to be where we're, we're taking something and giving it to you. These words, these emotions, these traumas, these things that we've experienced can be can be the, the bless that we can give to you. Right, right, right. That's deep. Life. Damn, that's deep. Shay Rosa, y'all. I hope y'all are listening, man, because she. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I, oh my God! Like, yo, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, yo, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm so, I'm so like in awe because you know a lot of people, I'm sure, don't even know this about you. You know what I mean? Like, and for you to now like reach the masses, because there's a lot of people, a lot of people watching this, right? And at the end of the day, understand the lives that you're gonna be touching, just, ex just expressing your experiences with this, and then through the form of music. You know that that's deep. Music for me is ooh, therapy. Yes. Therapy, therapy. Yeah. Um, I hope that I can touch you guys with my music. Um, I I try to inspire um, people. I try to use vision um, wisely. I try to be creative and uh, give you guys content that can be a classic form um, to be used throughout time. I want my music to be timeless. Generational. Yeah. And like you guys like I don't want you to just play it one time. I want I don't want I want it to be 20 years from now you still play Shea Rosa and you'd be like, "Oh, I'm still feeling that." Man. 30 years, 50 years. Mm -hmm. You still can push on Shea Rosa and you still can feel an emotion from me. Timeless classics. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I would like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like like, you know, when I when I had mentioned, you know, Lauren Hill, like that really it signifies. You get know what I mean? Because when I hear your music, I hear you on stage, you know, and you you're on hundreds of stages, thousands, you know what I mean? Like how are you able to, you know, be able to actually hit those stages? Like, do you feel like sometimes like you have to go through red tape or do they just hear your natural ability and say, you know what, get on that stage because we're, we're shit without you? No, it's just that I've been blessed by a lot of people to... Um if I needed you on my stage, I'd say we ain't shit without you. <laughs> I'm like, yo, did you just hear her sing? Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Hey, it's the uh, truth, shit. Hey, look, I have, look, I have had people come up to me and be like, Shay, um, why don't you try this out? Or, Shay, we have this opportunity for you. Do you want to take this? And I'm, I'm willing to go anywhere. I feel like we, as a people, um, sell ourselves short a lot. Can you elaborate on that? Um... You know, people are like, I'm not going to do this and I'm not going to do that. And I'm not going to, you know what? Let's do this. Let's go. Mm. 
That's the attitude I have. Motivate. Let's do it. No matter what level. No matter what level that you're at. Because we can learn and we can experience and we can create new moments and memories from life itself. At any moment, things can be taken from us. And we need to, we need to understand that wholeheartedly. At any age, at any moment, experience life. So I don't ever say no. Like, um, I'm not going to do that. What is it? Explain to me what the what, what it is first. Let's 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 delve into it. Let's at least say let's 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 experience what it could be, right? Let's oh, let's let's talk about it. Hmm, that sounds kind of interesting. It's a possibility, right. right? We don't have to just straight out be like no, because of what? What is the reasoning behind you saying no? Are you stopping your own your own blessing? Because that's what a lot of people do. They yeah. stop their own blessings. A lot of blessing stoppers. Y'all need to get out y'all. <laughs> y'all need to get out y'all's own ways. Get you. out of your own way. Yeah, you know? And that's what I mean. <laughs> Look at that. Look. Stop your own blessings. Yeah. Because you just, nope, nope, nope. I'm not. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, for real? You stopped your own blessings. And then you wonder why somebody else is being blessed. And then hate on them. For hate on them for their blessings. Don't do that. Because I'm happy for every person that takes the initiative. Yes. I am happy you took the chance because I'm going to take that chance. <laughs> With or without you. With or without you. And that's, and, and that's the God's honest truth. But don't say I didn't tell you about it. And don't say I didn't give you the opportunity to try. Because I'm willing to take the, t the opportunity with anyone. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm loving how you're saying that because it lets me know that you're a, uh, not, not equilibrium. I'm saying the wrong word. You're a, you're a uh, opportunity. Thank you. Because I was going to say an opportunist, but I'm like, no, she ain't no opportunity. That's the wrong word to use. You're equal. Yeah. yeah. I am. Yeah. Equal, I am. A, a equal opportunity giver. I am. Nice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, being able to like being able to use that and to take that right and to put it in your craft, to put it in your music. You know what I'm saying? Like your music is like very it's like it's so stress, it's so touching through through hip hop, through R and B, through all the levels that you have. I mean it, it goes beyond all those, but just to give a generalistic, like how are you able to combine all of those, you know, and still remain, you know, soulful? While reaching hip hop in a young, <laughs> come on. I'm a universal songstress. That's what I consider myself. Um, I would like to touch every genre of music and bring that soulful influence, yeah. but also my own spin. Like I, I want my that originality. Like everyone, um, when they when they when they compare me in the music, they say you remind me of and then they say but you have your own and I appreciate that because that 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 tells me I'm doing something right, right. that reminds you of someone great mm -hmm. but then you tell me but sure great because yeah. you have your own thing about you but then that brings me to someone else that's great too I'm like yes Come on. Oh, thank you man. for that yeah. you know because there are so many talented people out here and you know, there's so many genius, like, creators and visionaries, and to be compared in that arena, you know, is, is something to me that I'm just blessed by, you know, and I'm just like, wow, I'm thankful for that. You know what, I'm thankful for it too, because I ain't gonna lie, there's mad people I played your music for, and they're like, yo, she's tough, mad people, yo, I know Shay, yo, boom, 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 Listen, I'm telling the truth here. Y'all better go check her out. Go check her out, okay? Listen to her music. Just put in Shay Rosa. Just put that in there, okay? <laughs> That's all you got to do. I promise you, I'll put my last dollar on it. You're going to rock out to this young lady right here because her music is phenomenal. Like, let's keep it 2,000%. I know. Thank you. On, Thank man. you. Yo, let's turn the music on right now. No, 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 no. We're going to do it after all that. But, you know, um, I, I do want to go into... You know, now you're older now, right? You're no longer four years old. You're now older. You're a young adult. You know, now you're out of college. Now you're like, okay, 
I got to turn this dream into a goal. You're meeting the right people. You're meeting the right producers. You're meeting the right, all, all of the above, you know, the right management and stuff like that. Like, how are you able to meet these people, meet these resources that actually attached on to you and said, yo, come with me? Okay, so let me just tell you about the first person. Please do. <laughs> all right. So I am working at a McDonald's. There's shout a, out to Mickey D's. Shout out to Mickey D's. There's a gentleman. I'm just humming away, mm-hmm. humming away, like real low, you know, because I'm at work and I need to keep my sanity. I didn't believe anyone could hear me at this point. He could hear me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Have you ever, excuse me, your voice is beautiful. Mm, a customer? A customer. And I'm like, hey, why is this man coming near me? <laughs> I'm just trying to work. Where was you at the was you at the cashier? I was in the drive thru, right? Oh, oh, they heard you through the end through the I, I thought he couldn't like I was you know how you can cut the little box off, so he I was yeah. he was he was on the other side, so I, I was just waiting for the thing to come down so yeah, I can yeah. just give him the drink. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So he's like your voice is beautiful. Have you ever been to a studio? And I'm like, no, I haven't. And he was like, would you like to record? Wow. And I was like, um, would I like to record? Well, I'd like to try. And he was like, well, here's my information. And uh, DJ Static is his name. And uh, shout out to DJ Static. Static. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Yes, yes. You started my recording career. Wow. And uh, we're still friends. And um, he doesn't record anymore. He doesn't DJ anymore. But wow. he's the first one that started this this journey with me. And um, I started my fr- the first ever. It's actually out now. But the first freestyle that you guys have that you can hear. And that's the music I did with him that I have and yeah, like it's cool. like that song Confusion that's the song oh yeah that song's popping yeah. popping right yeah. Just, yeah. that's why I said it's mm-hmm. like just classic stuff that I had that I'm like Damn. wow that was my like recording career starting oh, in the God. music and it was a blessing because I don't think I would have I think I would have but it was like for somebody to bring me out of the element and be like you're dope I was just in my head in my head with it, you know, just not really yeah. where to go or how to go about it or no. But Well, you know what they yeah. Well, honestly, you know what they say like people end up getting picked up in the damnedest places and there you go. You're in, you're in McDonald's. <laughs> I know, right? Shout out. Shout out to McDonald's. Hey. Shout out to DJ Stag. Yo, everybody. Yo, okay, listen. I hope y'all are picking up what she's saying, okay? Not just McDonald's, but everybody who works in a fast food spot like that, get the window. Tell them you want to work in the window, okay? Because you... <laughs> fuck it. I wouldn't. <laughs> if I know I'm going, oh my no, God. You want the drive through Tell them, put them on the resume, kids. All y'all little kids and grown-ups, you know what I'm saying? Put on the resume, put lie, say experience, kitchen window or whatever. What, kitchen window? Yo. <laughs> Fuck it. I can't, my people. I can't. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Shit. Told you everybody can't come up here. Right? <laughs> tell them you want the window. <laughs> tell them. It works for her. Shit. Right? They might look. We somebody might pull up. Hey, that's that's the part I'm talking about. And sing. You don't know. You don't know who will pull up, and you don't know who you will ever meet. Yeah, you don't. I'll be you, singing my ass off serving up. In the presence of what is it? Say that, say that again. You never know who you are in the presence of, and that's what I need you guys to understand when we're out here in the world. You never know who you in the presence of. Mm. <laughs> 
and it all yo you <laughs> McDonald's y'all need to give her a sponsorship like for real like put in a commercial please put in a commercial because it all started with right come it on. started at McDonald's come on man come on it really did all jokes aside and all jokes yeah. aside shit I wish I can say that Stop sponsorship yo I used to work in I, <laughs> oh my God. listen I used to work in some high places ain't nobody came to tell me I sound good and I'm like well shit not that I was singing but <laughs> shit you know tell me I saw, I gave you the receipt good or some shit I don't know <laughs> but yeah yeah you found me in a McDonald's that, that's, that's beautiful that started the music out yeah. and like literally Lenny you already know like me and you Clash. We we gonna go from yeah. we gonna go from the studio yeah. Yeah. of finding me at McDonald's, yeah. Yeah. creating this this music. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's see, Jedi mind tricks. Mm. DJ DJ Static mm-hmm. took me to a show. I had had the CD. I'm this little, hey, I'm thinking I'm cool. I'm like, okay, he's like, I'm gonna bring you inside here, okay? I need you to go up to them. I need you to bring your CD over them, your CD. And you're gonna tell them this is your music. And you're gonna see if they're gonna like it or not, okay? Just tell them who you are. Was it a room of like a room full of people? It was a show. It was it was Jedi Mind Trick show. Oh yeah. Okay, and I'm thinking I'm like you know yeah. this, I'm cool and you know I'm gonna bring them my music and they're gonna like me and they're gonna listen to my CD. <laughs> yeah right. right, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> it was a total opposite. It was I was this nobody. I was like you know this girl that just thought I was cool and <laughs> trying to get Jedi Mind Tricks to listen to me. And I bet you they probably still have my CD somewhere in like a pocket or maybe they threw it away but hi Jedi yeah. <laughs> the bottom line is, is hi, go, hi guys <laughs> um but yeah I did hand my CD to them like that's beautiful yeah. like so like like what was what was your once you gave them your yeah. CD right and obviously what was their what do you feel like it was a humbling experience it for was. you because I was like this girl that was like first attempt mm. they were my first attempt at revealing my soul to people who had already made it and that's what I want to show the artists that are first coming out it's very difficult to do that it's very hard to reveal yourself when you don't know how people are going to receive you and it's it's nerve-wracking and it's hard but once you get over that fear and you have to get over it you have to rip the band-aid away yeah, I know. it's like you gotta force yourself to yeah. Yeah. and so that, that's what I'm just trying to show them is like now where I'm sitting here and like I respect Jedi obviously I, I love all of my Boston people like yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you guys like <laughs> um, just just saying like I was once one of, like like this and being like oh my gosh mm. I'm revealing myself to them yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and now I'm like hey guys right, right, right. <laughs> so you went from being an introvert to an extrovert yeah, I'm, Is that still, a call right? extrovert? I'm still I'm I, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm, I'm an ambivert now Okay, ambivert. Yeah. Let's talk now about I'm that an word now. An ambivert is an introvert and and an um, extrovert, both oh, together. Oh I still am. Okay, I'm um, wrong with that. I when I when I know that I'm in the social settings, I have to be, I have to be out. But when I'm uh, most of the time I'm in because yeah. that's the that's the soul in me that like you know yeah. and that's the Lauren Hill because that's crazy you said that because that's what Lauren Hill does you see she only pokes her head out when it's time to yeah, and I do too and you know that see then I say Lauren Hill <laughs> mm, true story because think about it man I know my music and I know my music artist and she's one of them okay <laughs> you already know that. come on man don't make me go in my bag hey man listen I kid y'all yo, listen I, I, I listen I kid y'all or not like you are one of the most humbling people that you know I know that is so talented because you're not big headed you know what I mean you're respected by a lot of people a lot of people not only love your music but they love who you are as a person you know like how are you able to keep those two together because you got a lot of people out here they're either or they don't they're not both you know like how you know to have them equal because that's hard just be you Hmm. 
and just stay you. That's it. <laughs> there is no, there is no in between. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Dang, talk about it. Uh, uh, I, I can't say it enough, people. Mm-hmm. Do not waver. Mm-hmm. Uh, do not stand in between the lines. Uh, do not cross over the line. Um, once I posted it earlier, I believe. Mm-hmm. Once you have crossed over one of those three things you've already lost the game you cannot go back over those lines um to to correct the things that you've already done and and i have walked this road with a lot of people and i continue to be who i am at all costs because i know how it is to lose a lot of people i know how it is to trust a lot of people to give love respect honesty loyalty all of it with all of my heart and lose yeah yeah and and you know it's definitely evident in your music you know uh the happy music the heartful music you know and uh you know getting to your music crossing into your music now like you know uh what is one of when like your one of your favorite tracks that you got a lot of bangers but what's your favorite that you know this is the one i will never leave my heart I'm talking from the lyrics to the beat to the, all of that. Wow. That's. Wow. You're going to do that to me. Why are you going to yep. do that? That's. Because <laughs> I, I have to ask everyone this. You know why? Because that's coming up. That really got a hold of me right now. That you can't do oh, that. Oh, we're going to talk about that main one, though. Mm, this. Oh, okay. This, okay. Okay. Well, there's one that. There's a couple of new ones that I that I really am in love with right now, um, so I'm gonna say two of them that are new that are new that are kind of like working their way around. Blue Dream mm. is a new one that I really love, and Teddy Bear. Mm. Yeah. See, I want to hear Teddy Bear. That's the one I want to hear. Mm. Now, mm. when I think of Teddy, I don't know. That's weird. Like, that's a dope title for. Is it a slow song? Is it a hip? No, it's kind of like a hip hop. Like, won't you be mine, oh. Teddy Bear? Damn. All right. So, see, see, I told you, I told you. When, when you, when you coming out with that song? Um, it's it, we working on. Look, it's already pressed, and we're oh, working God. on the. We're working on the video next. And see, she got her team here, so we're, we're going to talk about them in a minute. We're definitely going to get to them in a minute, man. It, this is, woo, you are something else, man. You don't play. No, nope, we're working on it. We're working on it right now. Hey, yo, and that, this, ain't, this ain't for TV, man. This is for real. This is real life right here. Every day. All day, every day. 27 hours. No days off. No days off. No days off. For real. 385 days a year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All day, Seriously. every all day. Jokes all yeah. jokes, all jokes aside, like if if y'all only knew, <laughs> oh my God. if I could get that deep with y'all. <laughs> now, I, I, what I what I want to do is now, like like I want to go into you know uh, your new music. You know what I mean? Uh, you actually got a bang out right now. You know what I'm saying? Please tell us the title. Please tell us. Well, <laughs> I, and the only reason I know the title, but I want her to say the title because there's a reason for it. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. And she's paying homage. Okay. Hey, love. Oh. Hey, can you, love. Can, 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 you, can you shout him out? Shout out to LL Cool J. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to you. I'm paying homage to you. And thank you for inspiring me and so many. Um, this right here is for anyone who knows LL. Like, I can't. Hey, lover was and still is like one of the biggest crush songs of like all time and so me as a female I have never seen anyone any female remake that song I haven't either now it's funny because like when I first heard the song right I was like wait a minute and I'm listening to it and I'm like watching a piece of the video and I'm like Wait a minute. No one's ever made a repeat or a remix to this. No, no one. No, not even. Not that I know of. Male, no one. Dang, so you, you're breaking ground here. Yes. And um, I love breaking ground breaking. <laughs> Yo, we got to get this song to LL, man. You know, what, 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 what made you, you know, come up with that concept to, you know, basically do that? Because that's a banger, man. Okay, so basically, um, 
you know, I'm the first lady of um, Groundbreakers um, Enterprises, and um, shout out to Groundbreakers. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, shout out to Groundbreakers. Mm-hmm. Um, and so one day, you know, my producer Jesse and I were in the studio, and we were just talking. And he was like, "Oh well, you know, I was thinking about remixes," and I was like, "Well, Jesse, you know that song, Hey Lover," and he was like. Yeah, and I'm you L O and I was like, Hey, do you think you could come up with another version of that? I was like, Cause I think I could come up with something. And he was like, Hold on. I think I can. Give me give me about a week. Okay. All right, Jesse. You got a week. And he came up with it. Week goes by. The rest is history. Here we go. Mm. Arrest. Hey, love. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest is history. You guys got to listen to this song, man. Like, I heard it. This banging. It's not out yet. However, I know you're going to be debuting it, right? You're going to be. De- okay, so we're going we're gonna to talk about that, too. We're definitely going to talk about that, too, because what I want to do is, is I want to get into, uh, real quick, you know, I want to get into the event you have coming up, you know, with the realness, the Hall of Famer, Ed OG. Shout out to Ed OG. You know, you guys are coming together, man. You know, you want to talk about the show you have coming up with him? Definitely. Um, on 322, March 22nd, there is going to be a an event with Ed OG. He will be headlining in Boston. Hey! And definitely I'm excited about that. Um, it's it's at a private event. Um, we're going to have vendors, food. We got seven other acts who are going to also be performing with Ed. So I'm super excited about that. Some dope performers. Uh, food, drinks, vendors. Just a really great event event from yeah. 8 to 2 a.m. So you guys come out and spend some time. We got VIP tickets, general tickets available. The website is www.wolfnrose.com. Don't forget, y'all, the website's right there. Y'all see it. So, you know, what's going to happen for this piece? You know what I'm saying? Like, you guys need to understand. Y'all need to come out, man, and show love. For all y'all that are in Massachusetts, New England, because, you know, everybody, not not y'all, I mean, everybody from throughout the country, yeah, y'all, y'all can come too, you know, because, you know, we have a huge following. So whoever, y'all want to fly to Boston for that night, that That's weekend, right. come, come. You know what I'm saying? And uh, hit a website up. Get them tickets. Do what y'all got to do. Bring your music, too. You know, there's going to be a lot of networking and all that great stuff, too. You know, and it's going to be bomb, baby. Edo G's in the building. Come on. Shay Rose is in the building. Oh, I'm like. Come on down. Man, come come on. 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 You definitely want to come down. You don't want to miss this event. Mm-hmm. What I'm telling you is it's going to be out of this world. Mm. much love much love you know what I'm saying and uh, you know I do want to get into uh, you know you and pretty much your next level of, of, of your journey you know you have a strong team behind you you know uh, let's talk about your team okay yes um, so basically I have well, well you know what why don't we just bring them in why don't we just bring them in well, you know, let's bring your team in let's bring them in I told y'all he was going to have a team here, man. Y'all better understand it, man. <laughs> Yo, we are here with the rest of the team. Please do the honors. Do the honors of these young gentlemen right here and the role they play. Please. Definitely. Oh, oh, oh yeah. That's all me. Okay, definitely. Okay, everybody. Um, right here, this is Jesse Colombiana Wolf. This is CEO of... Groundbreakers Enterprises right here, day one, right here, my producer, my A1, day one, square one, all right, right here, what's up, what's up, Jesse? What's good, what's good? Yeah, yeah. Jesse! Yeah, that's what we talking about. That's what we talking about. Right here, we got DJ Wolfbane right here. Yep. Got DJ Wolfbane. Mm-hmm. We got also CEO, partner of Wolf and Rose Productions right here. That's what I'm talking about. Hello, hello. <laughs> test, test, one, two, three. <laughs> oh, no, you can't. Oh, okay. Okay, so we're going to talk about the... Oh, I'm a little close with it, y'all. Well, you know what? You know what? Watch this. Watch this. Okay. Watch this. 
Watch this. I do want to. I do want to ask some questions because I was gonna wait until she finished, you know, talking. But I want to ask, like, you know, at the end of the day, you see a talented young lady, right? You hear her music, right? And at what point was you like, you know what? I gotta rock with her. Like, I have to rock with her. I have to make music with her. Oh, sure, yeah. So, for me, it was, I always DJ'd the real Shea Rosa right. at events. I was always seeing her around. I was like, oh, wow, her music's dope. Whenever yeah, I'd mix yeah. her set, mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. Like, she got real pure yeah. vocals. Yeah. The thing was is that, like, she reminded me of my mom. Like, my mom is a singer, too, a soul singer, R&B, and I was like, wow, that's raw. Like, I feel that. So, so your mom was singing soul music. Yeah. For a long Talk about it. Please talk about it. <laughs> sure, yeah. So my mom... Y'all better be paying attention, man. <laughs> Mama, shout out to you. Shout yeah. Out. Shout out, Ma. Shout out. Yeah. Nah, like, my mom, similar to what, um, to jump off kind of what Shay was saying, was that my mom, too, put me in church young mm. she um like brought me to auditions she was always um she was the artist that was starved of like her purpose right she was always growing up saying i wanted to go and do this i wanted to go sing for this one but my parents always stopped me mm. and said oh no 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 that you know you're that's too dangerous typical wow so you you guys kind of yeah yeah, yeah, yeah a lot in common Push going to yeah from the very beginning we had a lot in common mm -hmm. and the thing was is my mom always said to me don't ever give up on your dream and I, you know, went to churches and they saw what I could do. Like, you know, I, I learned the piano. I uh, learned the guitar. Damn, so you, yeah, you know, like, how to play mad instruments. How many instruments can you play? Uh, like, five. Okay, I could play none. I <laughs> Somebody got to teach me something. Nah, <laughs> shout out to all my music students yeah. that I've had because, you know, mm -hmm. the thing was is, I was just blessed with great teachers. Like, so my mother, you know, going in my life, bringing me to the right people. Shout out Mr. Camp, Mr. Uh, Mr. Van Tyne. These are uh, people that shaped my music life. Yo, shout out to all y'all, man. <laughs> Too many names, but shout out for, yeah. for, for making... For, come on. Man. I have to. You have to. It's, it's a must. You gotta... Yeah. Yo. I'm very humble about it. Mm -hmm. But the thing that you were asking me was that I, I saw in Shay what my mother had, you know, was doing doing and my mom always tried her best to like she's singing bands all throughout Massachusetts and in the New England but what Shay's doing what she is doing is very similar I just see Shay like going at it like in a, in a, in a way that is more than what my mom did you know what I mean like my mom let the you know she had kids she settled down you know and real life came into play right yeah reality yeah, yeah but Shay has kids and life and all that too but she's like I'm not going to stop here you know I know that this is what I want in my dream and I was like you know what that's the kind of woman I want to stand behind mm -hmm. and I was like if I can help that in my own dream too you know and and, and uh, work with her I know that will go far you know you, you know, please say that again because <laughs> you, you, you guys understand something you know when you have you know parental teaching parental guidance like that and then you stepping out on your own to fulfill your own dreams and then your parents are like they're rooting you on and like this is what you get right here you get success man you that, really that's do. deep yo shout out to your mom man oh thank yeah, you yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. thank you mom yeah. shout out to <laughs> your mom right. Yo. So yeah. parents, yeah. right shout out to parents who are yeah. there and are helping their children to succeed and that's what i'm saying so jesse question oh yeah yeah it's all love. It's all love. It's all you. <laughs> what is it that, why are you behind me? Why is it that you support me? Okay. I support Shay because she's different. She's uh, like, she remind me of uh, like a classic, like 60s, 70s yeah, singer. Yo. And that's really cool to me. That's really cool to me. Aw, Jesse. Yo. <laughs> he said classic. Yo, classic. What's it, what's it, what's it? Aww. Oh, you got the floor, Jesse. You just took it away. We don't even need us anymore. They don't need us anymore. Jesse has the mic. Yo, can, can you, do you, do you? Do you understand like what he just said? Yeah. Like, right there. That just touched, mm -hmm. man. That's groundbreaking. Yeah, come on. Uh, groundbreaking. Oh, yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is why I love my team. Like, awesome. they, I mean, I love both of them. Um, I love my team. They really support me. Um, and I support them. And it's like I support my community. I support the people around me. I push everybody around me. I don't, and, I, and the thing is, I don't care what skill level or set level that you are at. It is about the fact that you actually take the initiative to push yourself out of a boundary yes. that we are all constricted by. And for me, it is freeing yourself, uh, freeing yourself from the, I'm sorry, uh, freeing yourself from, the, yeah, I'm so used to, like, you know, having, and I know that, and I know about mic control, and the thing is, I'm in love with the mic, so, <laughs> but I know about mic control, um, so, so the thing is, it's like, we, we literally have to, uh, just stepping out of your comfort zone, yes. doing something a little bit differently, mm -hmm. and saying we support each other, yeah. um, whether somebody is at your skill set yeah. or not. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we can we can help people to hone them in to get them better because the more you practice, the better you become. The more you do something, the better you become. Mm -hmm. So you know, hating on everybody and saying, oh, well, they're never gonna get there. Well, they'll never get there with somebody who has an attitude like you do. That's right. You said it. And <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad you said that because, you know, honestly, y'all, it went from talking about music to it now. Yo, we have we have in church. <laughs> Yo, this is awesome, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is dope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to tell you, man, like, you know, just to even be with you guys is an honor. You know what I mean? Because you guys, I'm, man, thank you. Thank you. I, 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 I don't even know how to take that, man. You know, he, he thank you, bro. Thank you. <laughs> So we're all honored to be here, man. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, for real. Yeah. For real. You know, it's it's I always share with people that, you know, no matter where I go in life, no matter what I do, I always do my best to surround myself around awesome people, wonderful people, you know. And sometimes you get a little jerk in there here and there, but even you we all can learn something from them, you know? And to be able to sit here with you guys you know all three of you guys and to be like wow man like this is a real not just a team but a family mm -hmm. you get what I mean like that changes the dynamics at that point you know so I need to give you guys your flowers you know what I mean for real you know and all jokes aside these people right here a family mm -hmm. please understand what comes with their music mm -hmm. please understand what comes with their passion and their journey when they do their show that's coming up on March 22nd mm -hmm. flood that building <laughs> get them tickets get them tickets y'all go to that yeah. website oh, yeah. listen the website it, it's very easy to use you guys um, you tap in on 322, there is a, a button there that says just purchase the tickets. You can use any form of um, payment that you have. So we make it very easy for you. We're actually running a special this week for any of the general tickets. You can get one of them with... Um, so it's... Uh, yeah, you explain to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, a little easier. So, See, uh, I do not fit This is why we're here. Yo, I told y'all. This is why we're here. We're going to explain it all to you. You let me explain. I don't want to explain. So, if you want a general ticket, you can get one. Buy the second ticket for five dollars off. All you got to do is enter the coupon code you know, Jump let Shot. Let them find out when they call y'all. Let them find yeah. out when they call y'all. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Let us tap know. In. Yeah, yeah. Tap in. Go to yeah. We already said the website, right? Yeah. 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 Tap, tap in. Tap in. Oh, yeah. okay. www.wolfinrose.com. <laughs> I do jingles. Yeah. Yo, listen. Now, I I, I will. You you do oh yeah listen she does jingles okay <laughs> understand that she does jingles she doesn't she does it all like keep it like like seriously like she does voiceovers she does jingles she does all of that you know what I mean like she is the joint y'all want to know who she worked with already how she did listen make sure y'all when y'all call okay and y'all talk to her she'll tell you everything I mean come on she's very well known she's big in the game she's killing it at the same time she's so humble to where she she'll take that time to talk to you mm -hmm. for real like keep it on it right I, I definitely I definitely will take that time um, to talk to everybody I have something for you I didn't I forgot to give it to you I have oh. something for you 
Me? Little old me? Well, shit. <laughs> I love gift. Wait, is it a gift or? Oh, yay! Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Ooh! Let's get it, y'all. See, this is Dime Magazine, man. Y'all. Oh, please, please. please. Yes, 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 yes. Show everybody our camera. If you guys are interested in seeing something off the website from Wolf and Rose, you guys can tap in. This is one of our shirts. This is actually, this is my design. This is where I came from, Humble Beginnings. So how I said music to me is is a remedy, and it is definitely a remedy. So Yo, you gotta show me. Right off the right off the concrete, off the tree. Yo, look at that. You see that rose? There's the there's the tree bottom right here. And we see the concrete cassette and there's the rose growing right up out of it. That is so crazy. that's you guys can get that, purchase that right on the the shop button out of Wolf and Rose no, WW. Too. Oh, yeah. It smells like me. It smells like me. <laughs> it smells just like you. Yeah. Um, but you it smells like flowers. They, they all won't be scented as Shea Rosa, yeah. okay? Can, can, <laughs> come on, you listen, listen, listen. Look, you they gotta, gotta see that. Look at that. Look at that. That's a, oh, yo, that is crazy. Isn't that dope? Yeah. That's on the website, so they can they can purchase that. We're yeah, not too expensive. Know, you, know, they, they, mm -hmm. online, you guys can go right online. But, they, but this is this is what we're talking about. You know, they, look at the essence of. Look at that. It's really I'm cool. gonna show you guys one more time. Oh, sorry. Say, no, say that again. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys one more time right there. That's the essence of Shay right there. That's that's the tree of life, basically. Music. That is crazy. Mm hmm. Remember how you said you were you used to rock with cassettes? I did because I with the cassettes. Yeah, I used yeah. to like you know what I mean. My cousin brought me my first mix like my first mixtape that my cousin brought me from Philly was on a cassette, mm -hmm. and I was like blown away to hear hip hop for the first time, mm -hmm. and I was like, "What is this?" Yes, yes. And I was like, "Wow, this is what?" Yeah. And here we go. Years oh later. Gosh, that is beautiful. The essence of me. You know what's crazy? The first one that you actually, I don't know, is this the, this the very first, first one? Okay. I'm just saying, because of who you are, right, what I would do, the person that buys that, I would personally sign it for them, right, and just make like a one, one of one or one of four so that that can grow in value. Right, right, definitely. Now, this one is for you. This comes out of my... This comes out of my first collection out of my other company. Oh my God. Talk about it. Talk about it. Okay, so I have a company. Right? I'll even hold it. I'll hold it for you. So I feel so special. If you, you know, so your arm doesn't get tired. Okay? I, I, I don't get tired. You don't get tired? No. Okay. No, I want you to keep... No, I want to open it. Yeah. Oh, you got a story. You, please tell me there's a message behind it. Yeah. The Caged Rose Ooh. is my first company. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like now, the cage rose is is in reference to me. I have always felt caged by everything around me. And I decided that I didn't want to be caged by life. I didn't want to be caged by anything. That I can grow out of anything. And a rose can grow out of the concrete, out of any surface, out of anything that is around it. And so the 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 picture, which is my logo for my company. Can you bu can you bust that open please? I I yo, I yo. <laughs> yo, this is nuts. This is nuts. I, 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 and it even says my oh name my on it. Oh god, look at The real Shay Rosa. Oh, you, I'm for you. Y'all got to see this. The real Shay Rosa, the cage can, rose. Can we go closer? Can we go closer? Look at that. And it also is labeled with my label in the inside. So that is nuts. That's for you. I thank you guys so much. <laughs> oh my gosh! Look, yo. It's HD, so that one. Oh. Now look, watch this. Watch this. Right, this shirt right here. I need her to sign this. <laughs> you know. Because it's full. No. Yes, for me. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm joking. No, she is gonna sign it. I pray to you, please. <laughs> you know. <I'm> <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank you. But listen, man. Listen, I told y'all anybody just can't come up here. <laughs> Real talk, man. Like, come on, man. Come on. I thank you so much. Oh, thank y'all, man. Like, y'all have no idea. Oh my God. Yo, man. Th th this is what it is, man. And I, everybody that's all in, man. Y'all paying attention, man. Because um. Oh, 
I'm lost for words. I don't even know. Look, like he's like, I know all the words. No. Yo, look. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, I feel so grateful and I'm so honored, you know, just to even have you, you know, and never mind the gifts. It, this is a plus but just who you guys are you know what I'm saying like I thank you guys so much man and I honor each and every one of you guys for even taking the time because y'all could have been anywhere but for you guys to choose to be with me like I'm so honored you know I am so honored like I mean that all jokes aside you know and also I want to give a shout out as well oh, yeah. to Fenelia oh yeah mm -hmm. Okay. You already know what that is right there. Shout out, man, to Fenelia. Yo, thank you for this shirt, man. This shirt is awesome, man. Like, all jokes aside, man, keep doing your thing. Keep selling. I hope you make a $10 million next year, man. Because this shirt right here, it speaks volume, man. It speaks volume, baby. When I first saw this shirt, I saw it on Shea. Okay, right? Yes, you already know. <laughs> and I've got several of his shirts at home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and yes, and yes, they are for order. They are for pickup. Y'all better call and you better check in. Yes. Tap in. And he don't put this shirt on anybody's back, but it's on mine, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you already know, man. Yes. Much shout out to everybody. Everybody showing love. Everybody watching all over the country, parts of the world. Thank y'all for tuning in with Dying Magazine, man. And this is what it is, man. And, you know, my last question to you is, you know, uh, where do you see you guys, you know, in the next two to five years? Ooh. Okay. Well, we have a lot coming down the pipeline. We have um, some companies that are tapping in with us um, for some in, some growth and expansion in the company, um, as well as growth and expansion in Shea Rosa. I hope to um, obviously be working with um, some some other artists and moving forward with that, moving forward with the company, mm -hmm. and um, moving forward with this guy right here. Yes, sir. Just and uh, we're building for the tour. Yes. Because he wants to go on vacation, you know. He wants to take a couple, take couple him. trips, take you know. <laughs> and bring the, bring the women, bring all that, you know. What I'm saying? No, he wants a couple trips. He wants a couple trips. He said so. You know, that's what we gonna couple do. Chips. Hey, hey, I wanna. What's your, where, where's your favorite place you wanna go? I want to go to L.A. Ooh. Oh, we know. Okay, of all parts of L.A., where would you want to go? Anyway, I've never been to West Coast. Mm. So. But you about to go now. That's you right. about to go now, you feel me? That's what it's about, baby. That's what it's about. And you got a strong team behind you. You got to make it happen, all right? Yes. Got it, man. Come on, man. L.A., baby, you already know what it is. Shout out to... Um, to OG Dub Mac mm -hmm. um, because you know we already have a song together mm -hmm. called Dre Day mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. so we gotta drop that video and get all the OGs and Snoop Dogg and everybody in the videos you know what I'm saying real quick mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. come on you already know what it is man real talk <laughs> man and you know honestly man like where do you see you guys in two to five years okay I, I have a, a vision that basically our event coordination is going to take off we're going to be working with uh, cultivators mm -hmm. uh, like for instance like at uh, advanced cultivators you got their Hold little can I, <laughs> she has can I, this is this is one of the companies that we're actually you know in works and working with in works with yeah. right now advanced yeah. cultivators so shout out to you guys shout out. Shout out. hey you know come on man hey that's what it's about you know what i'm saying everybody gets love on this channel on this yeah. platform you know what i'm saying you know because that's one of our they're really showing support with us right, right now right. No, that's a beautiful thing. That's great. I'm a shout out. And, and we're so young in the in the in thing. But I, company. my vision is that our we, it's not just events. You see, like we like to put on small curated events, mm -hmm. eight artists max, not the same people, a headliner that people know they want to come, they want to see, they want to have a good time. But then we're utilizing the funds mm -hmm. from these events right. to feed the community, to change right. the community. Right. Kind of like what we were doing. Please say that one more time. Yeah. We need we need y'all understand what this is doing what they had what they already been doing I need to say collectives mm -hmm. i love all of you especially all of you
you in Boston and most of y'all know me too, mm-hmm. all right? But as a collective, you need to collectively help the community. Um, we see a lot of collectives doing great work like Bridgeside. Uh, we see Talk of the Town, Bars Over Bars. bars, over bars. Oh, shout, shout out to Talk of the Town. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, bars oh, Over yeah. Bars, Bridgeside Cypher. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They're doing great stuff. Mm-hmm. So like what we would like to do is with our, with our our what we're doing with our company is because I've been doing a lot of community work and doing with the kids and the right. homeless I would like to use our platform to collect mm-hmm. things and then give back to the community yes. in that way yes. the true meaning and of the, a collective like, right. you know what right. I mean collect yeah. and yeah. then give back and give it back <laughs> Robin Hood yeah. and then give back <laughs> see, see you, you, you see this you, y'all see this right here like collect mm-hmm. and then give back see it, it, it's like I did y'all are answering like, questions I'm already like yeah. like mm-hmm. you remember <laughs> they don't remember <laughs> but you and I were talking about yeah. the red dots and the green dots yes. and yeah. Boston right now has a red dot it's a lot red, of red dots red light district yeah and it yeah. needs to change to a green yeah and the only way yeah. that we can do that is together yes but we have to support each other